just I got open and it finally got me in the, in the zone after 38 or uh, 36 minutes of man playing, you know, some stifling defense, and I was able to get a pretty good look off. And then after that, I was able to find Luke twice in a row, uh, penetrating the defense. Does it feel like you've been through a heavyweight fight? Yes, yes. Uh, the past, I mean, going all the way back to the SMU game, it's just been a ridiculous few weeks for me, but... As long as you win, that's, that's all I care about. What happened to the thumb? Uh, I jammed it pretty good. <laughs> I jammed it pretty bad, actually. Early in the first half? Early, yeah, early in the first half. Um, but that's just that's a few of many major injuries, many minor injuries. What, 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 else, the, what else you got? The back? Is the back and shoulder? Uh, what about? You know, a little, little knee bump. Um, back, ankle, it just everything, everything just hurts. What, what was the spark you think that got you guys going finally there in that last minute and a half or two? I think just the spacing was better, fine guys um, on the wing, and something just opened up that wasn't there or that wasn't being shown the whole game. And I had to do a great job the whole game, and, you know, we were just able to finally get a good. It looked like off. they knew everything you were going to run. I mean, yeah, Massiello, I, mean, I think, was, was calling out. Yeah, Massiello was, was here. I mean, he's one of the designers of our, of our defense that we play, um, along with uh, Coach Willard. So he was here around that time, and he's been under Coach Patino for a very long time. So it was very frustrating because he knew everything we were going to run. And it's not so much knowing everything we're going to run, because school scout, sure. old school scout, it's, it's different if you play the same system. So you not only know, but you just you, you know the, the, the counter move, you know the counter play, you know the counter to the counter, and I mean, just a great battle. What, what did he say to you after the game? You know, he loves me, and you know, he's proud of me about all I accomplished, and he, he wishes me a lot of luck. The last is a, is, a, is, a, is a great example of a gentleman, somebody I look up to, and he's definitely been a intricate part of my life. Russ, of all the big shots you've hit, that might be the biggest. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Hey, you go. <laughs> it's okay. You know, I honestly, don't, I honestly really don't know, but I'm just thankful, happy to win it. Do you just, does it feel like a relief almost? Yeah, you know, I wasn't, I was trying to, I wasn't trying to do too much, but I also didn't want to lose, so it's tough to really balance that out, especially when there's a lot on the line, but for me to get a look like that and for me to knock it down after after my hand did a great job on me defensively, I, I just, I'm just really thankful when I, I don't know what could be next for, for Luke Hancock. I mean, he's shown us so much, but those, those threes down the stretch were just huge. Yeah, he, he, he wasn't hoping the whole game. He wasn't getting the looks that he normally gets. And finally, he was able to get a decent look at the basket, and he knocked it down, made some big plays. And, you know, me and Luke are, are the veterans here, and we made some big-time plays to help us advance. But that doesn't go. Um, that those plays don't blind out the other plays that guys like Wayne Blackshear made. You know, he, he, he really helped us down the stretch with defense and rebounding. Chris Jones did a tremendous job. Harold so, Ford. Montrez, Ford. Yeah, everybody contributed in ways that probably wouldn't show up on the stack.